Chapter 7, Six Things an Evolved Man Wants from a Woman. I hear women often talk about wanting an evolved conscious man. I've decided that mostly means they want to be with a man who can see a woman's entire humanity, the profound gifts she has to offer as a feminine woman and a human being, before focusing on her ass. He has also embraced his own internal dose of femininity, so he can truly embrace the feminine women in his midst. Now, there's surely more to say about that, but I don't want to make a big production of this point. I won't claim to actually be an evolved man anyway, which might disqualify me if I did. I still eat cheeseburgers, so. Nonetheless, a brilliant, mature woman I consider to be evolved recently asked me what an evolved man wants from a woman. So with her inquiry as my sole credential, here it goes. Uh, number one, coming up in just a second, I'm Brian Reeves. I'm the author of this book, Choose Her Every Day or Leave Her. I'm reading all of the chapters on this YouTube channel. So subscribe to come along with me on this journey. I'm on chapter seven. There's actually about 63 chapters in this uh, book. They're not long chapters and you can jump around and watch in this case or, or read if you pick up the book on Audible or Amazon or all the places where you get books if you don't want to wait for that journey or you just want to have it in one little compendium on your phone or in your hands like this. Um, that's the cover. Yeah. This is a book for men and for women. Anybody who really wants to thrive in relationship and doesn't want just the old, you know, your parents relationship advice. Choose her every day or leave her. Get it wherever you get books. All right. Number one. Of the six things an evolved man wants from a woman. Number one, he wants her full, authentic self. An evolved man wants a woman who won't change to be with him, who mostly doesn't give two sheets what other people think about her, including even him. She isn't arrogant, she just knows who she is and doesn't need to prove that she has the right to live however she desires. Sure, they might have to make difficult choices in the details of their life together, also known as compromise but she doesn't shrink or sell herself out to make him happy because it won't. He won't criticize her for being her authentic self either. An evolved man longs to see his woman radiant and genuinely happy. If she isn't thrilled about her everyday life, he won't be either. Not because she's responsible for his feelings, she's not, but because the second best gift she could ever give him is her own authentic happiness. Which brings me to number two. Number two. He wants her authentic happiness. An evolved man has no sinister desire to capture a woman's joyful heart in an iron box and isolate her in a household castle. No. He just wants his woman so in love with her life that her radiant joy is present in the room more often than not. Yes, there will be tough times. He won't expect her to always be happy. He doesn't want some spooky Stepford wife with a fake smile. He simply wants her aware enough to know that she's responsible for her own happiness. He'll be doing his best to be a good man for her, but he doesn't want to be burdened with making her happy. He's busy enough trying to manage his own experience. Understanding this allows both partners to safely bring their real truths to the relationship every day, which is essential to sustaining real intimacy, which is what an evolved man truly wants. Number three. He wants her to love him with wild abandon. Many years ago, I witnessed a new bride gaze with such absolute adoration upon her new husband's face that I felt the earth jealous even though it had the sun. An evolved man wants his woman to radiate her love all over him like that. He will do his best to earn that from her. But then again, what has the earth ever done to earn the sun? An evolved man wants his woman to love him profoundly despite his imperfections, to consistently see through his human flaws to the very best of him. There's an important caveat, however, as so many women are great at loving with wild abandon, but in a way that's often self-defeating. An evolved man doesn't want a woman to abandon herself to love him or stay if he consistently acts horribly, failing to honor their agreements. An evolved man can still fall victim to messing up big time. He's human, after all. Which brings me urgently to number four. Number four, he wants her to communicate openly and even call out his bullshit, but respectfully. An evolved man wants a woman who will speak her truth to him. A woman who knows men aren't equipped to read minds or even not-so-subtle clues. 
He also wants her to hold him accountable to his highest potential as a man, and always with love and respect. He does not want her looking for every flaw in an attempt to make him perfect. That's just annoying. But he also doesn't want her to hold back when she sees him acting out of integrity or playing small in his life. An intimate relationship is a powerful vehicle for a person's evolution, and he knows he'll always be growing and evolving. He wants a woman who will support him in that evolution, and who's also learned the difference between healthy, honest communication and needling criticism. And by the way, that part right there is something I talk about a lot more in later chapters in the book, the difference between feedback and criticism. So subscribe to this channel to get that insight and so many more of the practices and teachings uh, that I'm going to be sharing with you in this uh, adventure with Choose Your Everyday or Leave Me. Number five, he wants her to surrender to love. When I originally wrote this back in 2014, my ideas on surrender were a bit less evolved. At the time, I essentially wrote this. An evolved man doesn't want to try to possess a woman. He doesn't want her to abandon her dreams or live only for him. He wants her to live fully in her truth. However, he does not he excuse me. However, he does want her to relax and trust him primarily to lead their lives together. This is what I wrote some time ago before, you know, I had a more evolved notion of surrender. An evolved man doesn't want 50-50 decision-making in his intimate relationship. When two people dance together, only one can lead. Okay, that's what I wrote before. Evolved. I understand now that the true power in surrender is never in surrendering your will to another person's will. The real power in surrender is in surrendering your will to love. An unconscious relationship is a battle of egos living together mostly in fear. When both partners are living in their own ego stories, I I use this acronym for lies, L-I-E-S, living in ego stories, it means they are believing fear-based thoughts that create anxiety and stress. Like, for example, here's some thoughts we tend to think. My partner must act a certain way to prove he or she loves me. My partner needs to change to make me happy. My partner needs to trust my decision-making. Now, you find that one in a lot of these sort of you know, traditional old paradigm masculinity uh, circles, right? She needs to trust in my decision making. I need to lead, etc. And again, I believe the same in earlier understandings of this word surrender and polarity. Also, I'm afraid my partner will lie to me, so I need to keep a close eye on his or her behavior, and so on. A relationship in which fear-based thinking dominates the dynamic will inevitably create an exhausting power struggle. Things will either stagnate in a stalemate or outright suck. What does it mean to surrender to love? Surrendering to love means being willing to do your own inner work, to recognize when your choices, actions, words are emerging out of fear and learning how to shift yourself towards living from a mindset of love. In other words, it means learning to trust in love over fear. Now, note. There's far more to this than I'm going to explore here. And in my coaching practice, I support people in doing this fear to love inner work. And I've been doing this essential work myself for for many, many years with my own coaches as well. Um, Back to the chapter. An evolved man is only evolved in that he's learning to trust and love over the fears of his ego. Naturally, he wants his woman evolving in the same direction. If she's not actively learning to trust in love herself, and she's going to remain stuck believing in her own ego's fears. When you trust in your fears, there's no room for authentic love. When fear clouds the space between two people, you can't see each other clearly. You can only see projections of your fear. Now, to be clear, trusting in love doesn't mean tolerating abusive or violating behavior. Quite the opposite. Trusting in love means trusting that love will show the way forward in every moment in ways that ultimately yield the highest good for all. Sometimes surrendering to love means allowing the relationship to end. The reason trusting in love is difficult for most of us and why there are surely so few evolved men or women for that matter on the planet is because it means your ego won't always or even often get its way. Yet this is the only way a relationship can be truly, deeply, sustainably fulfilling. 
A relationship with a woman who trusts her fear and ego more than love is a relationship that will likely devolve into the pitiable cliche in which she has his metaphorical balls in a metaphorical jar. Her fear controls their lives because they've created a pattern in which he needs her permission for every decision. Eventually, she won't want to fuck him anymore because she's attracted to a man with balls. A man with balls is fully committed to his highest purpose, which is love, not her ego and not his ego either. It's a sad irony. A woman who wants to strap his balls to her vagina won't do well with an evolved man. He doesn't need or even want her permission to live his purpose every day, whatever that looks like for him. His woman's ego and fear cannot ever be his purpose because love is his highest purpose. It will be excruciating to him to be with a woman who is not surrendered to love as hers too. Number six, he wants her surrendered sexually too. Culturally, we've created immense amounts of shame around sexuality. It's time we set that insanity on fire with our loins. An evolved man will likely continue wanting sex, passionate, consistent, unbridled, anytime sex. He'll want no petty psychological or emotional games around sex from his partner, role-playing and other such games accepted. No intentional withholding and no tit for that. Tit for that. Interesting. I think I meant to write tit for tat and I wrote no tit for that. Negotiating that actually works. <laughs> An evolved man would rather negotiate with terrorists than negotiate for sex with his intimate partner. By the way, my wife has repeated that line back to me many times over the years. It's kind of funny. Uh, to be clear, very clear, an evolved man will never take his woman sexually when she doesn't want him to, whether she says no with actual words or non-verbally with her body. That's called rape, even if you're married, and it's always wrong. But as he will want a woman surrendered to love, that means she will be surrendered to her deeply felt sexual nature too. Because she is surrendered to love, she will be deeply connected to her inner radiant, sensual feminine essence, which she can then enthusiastically, wholeheartedly, and with sincere pleasure offer to him. Sexuality will be a natural extension of her self-love practice, and she'll therefore likely enjoy sex as much as he does, and probably more. He accepts that she won't always be willing or even able when she's in physical or emotional pain, for example, and he won't ever make her guilty for it, which might turn her on even more. He is also surrendered to love, so he will always be deeply sensitive to her needs. Still, he won't castrate himself internally to protect her from his sexuality. Such internal castration, so common in today's men, diminishes a man's power in the presence of a woman, which I believe then causes men to rely on porn, strip clubs, massage parlors, shallow affairs, and so on, as substitutes for the real thing. A woman not consistently surrendered to love in her own being, which just means a woman loyal only to her own ego and fears, inevitably becomes a woman sexually shut off from him. When his woman is consistently shut off to him sexually, there's clearly a disconnect between them, a disconnect from love and he'll want to explore that together. It could be the way he's showing up in their relationship. It could be biochemical. It could be something else, but he'll want to explore it. And he'll want her to want to explore it openly with him too. That's what evolved couples do. Communicate deeply, vulnerably, with appreciation for differences, with the ultimate goal of creating pure fucking magic every single day. Now, one last thing on number six. An evolved man will not make his ejaculation, or hers for that matter, the purpose, the sole purpose of sex. But that's a whole other essay. In the end, an evolved man doesn't want anything in particular from a woman other than her authentic self. He's self-satisfied, so she's free to be whomever she wants to be. He'll certainly recognize when things are off and want to explore that with her, but he won't make her responsible for his happiness either and he won't ever ask her to live inauthentically for him. If ever he does, he'll be aware enough to see that his request just points to some personal internal confusion he hasn't quite reconciled with yet. She's still off the hook for his happiness. Okay, that was chapter seven of Choose Her Every Day or Leave Her. 
Next chapter is chapter eight. It's titled The Masculine Search for Freedom and Why It Matters to You. Subscribe to this channel to follow along as I read the chapters to choose her every day or leave her. I'm uh, Brian Reeves, the author, and I'll see you in the next video.